morning. So, Travis and I Hello. are going to, and Gina, hello, are going to White Rock again today. Hopefully to project some harder climbs as well as for Travis to actually send Gravel Pit. V4, yes. We'll see. Yeah. Optimistic. Second V4 for Travis. Yes, that would be great to put on the logbook. Gene is hopefully going to do some traversing because the climb is great for that. And I might be looking at, I think, Star Jug Destroyer or something. Maybe V5, maybe V6, depending on how I'm feeling and depending on if we can find them. Yep, I want to give it a go too to see how far I can mm. get and see what I need to work on and get stronger in or more flexible in. Yes. Um, so the main problem with Travis last week was his heel hook. It was a little bit off, but Travis has been running, so we'll either see that he is too fatigued for it to do a little bit of um, cardio or a lot of bit of cardio that he's been doing. Maybe or I'll just open the hips up a bit. That could be cool. Maybe. That could be cool. So we'll see how he goes. And yeah, wish us luck. So Travis and I had a pee break here. I peed over there, he peed over here. And then we were like, that looks pretty pathy. So we went down there. We continued to go down there very far. And then we were like, shit, there's a hill there. The crag says, go up the hill. So we just, you know, winged it. Ended up finding um, super hard to find wall, kind of. After going through spiders, lots of spiders. Travis had one like practically on his boulder pad. And then on the way back, coming from the crag, and the actual trail, we found out that the path is right there. But you wouldn't know that because it was covered in lantana until I cleared it a little bit. Sorry, nature. Lantana shit. Bye. <laughs> Not tattooing. <laughs> this is super hard to find wall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Main wall, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Was cool, but nowhere near as cool as tattooing. <laughs> Tattooing. Fucking balls are hot. Me too. That was kind of pleasant though. Oh yeah. Was it? It was way better than the last one. Yeah. Jesus Christ. For sure. <laughs> so the V4 that I'm hopeful to make progress on uh, and then get in a couple of weeks is Gravel Pit. Uh, which is this climb here. So it starts in the jugs. Relatively simple to make the next couple of moves for bringing your hand up and then there's a really solid pocket in here. 
where I'm kind of struggling is I can easily bump my hand up and there's a really nice ledge here that I can really get a lot of um, power from. When I get my heel into here and then try and bring my hands over, that's when I kind of peel off. I don't think it's actually a strength thing. I think it's just a nervousness scared thing because if my heel's planted in there, I just see a fall happening like this somehow. Because I know I'm strong enough from at least the stuff I've done indoors and in other climbs at like the underground, I know I can actually make that move. So that's the goal for today, to actually do this move. From then on, you go from here up to possibly that little intermediate and then up to those pockets up there, or jugs, I guess. Um, that's the climb. And that's a V4. If you want to do a V6, you got to top out, which seems kind of spooky with the fall. So, I don't know. I'd like to yeah, give it a look, parachute. but it looks kind of, you know, dirty up Great there. Parachute. Awesome thing about this crag is you can kind of like make your own climbs. Uh, we also had a look at this V3, which is, what was it, Sandstorm? Yeah. Yeah, sandstorm. So essentially you start off using the crack and um, we ended up making up to this horn but when I went for the top um, jug to finish the climb I actually snapped off um, the horn because either one the rock's crap or I'm just like hella strong. Probably rock crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was cool V3 but you know I didn't really get a ticket because I broke a hold and I felt like it was kind of crappy. So yeah. Warm up. I think this is a good place just to traverse across and really get the muscles going. Nice and warm. Too bad. Muscles are warm. I've kicked a lot of dirt all over myself. Ready. 
<laughs> Last week I was trying to get the uh, the beta to try and span out to that <laughs> the whole way. Um, I ended up doing what Travis's beta is now, you know, hitting the intermediate and crossing over with the heel. Uh, but I would like to try and get the span just because it's so crazy. So I have about an, probably like 180 span, I'd probably say. So that's about you know a little bit shorter than that, but yeah. Just everywhere. <laughs> oh, did not think that one through. Oh, I'm trying to get from basically there, just across to the end. Yeah. Today's climbing has been like my life. First I was trying to do easy things, and then I was getting dirty. So I'm really interested to see how I do climb today. My shoulders are still quite sore. Not that I want that to be an excuse. I decided to join one of my housemates on a burpee and running challenge on Tuesday or Wednesday night. So we would do 20 burpees, run 400, we'll jog 400 meters, do 19 burpees, jog 400, all the way down to one. It took about 90 minutes. About an hour after that, I could no longer move and have been very sore for the next couple of days. So in my recovery, I got to experience for the first time the, what's it called? Trigun? Ferrigun? Ferrigun. Ferrigun. Yeah, <laughs> which felt really, really weird. Um, thank you to Michael for showing me how it's done. But my shoulders and my body felt a lot better after it. So I think we'll probably chat more about that at another point in time. I did the V4 last week and I'm looking at the V5 and it looks hard. And I'm looking at the V6 and it looks hard. Because the V6 is essentially the top out of the V4, which is kind of crazy. I don't feel too bad today. I feel a little bit out of whack in regards to beta, but I think that'll, you know, get there. I'm still warming up essentially. Um, yeah, I've just been taking this week easy. I haven't been doing a thousand burpees or anything like that. Um, so my shoulders feel fantastic. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Guess what? What? Do you know what we did really well today? What? The walk-in. Yeah. 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 We did the walk-in well. We didn't get yeah. lost. Oh, man. Yeah. 
get that. I'm not gonna make it happen. Maybe you could like. Oh, I want to do the stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't like, generate power from there. No. Yeah. Something has to change, as the music saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're trying to be sexy. <laughs> Number 10 on the crag for Tatooine is Star Jug Destroyer. Start below Jabba the Slut's Jug, then head right on poor holds to finish at Gravel Pit Jug. A high, higher, harder version of Gravel Pit. Even if you want to use Jabba's Jug, it's still hard. I don't understand how it's higher than Gravel Pit if you finish on Gravel Pit's Jug, but those are the beta. If you have a look on the crag, you can see that it's like going from there, seemingly around to that and then up or or possibly i don't know what do you think yeah Brad? wow okay so i think i think it starts over here going up to these and then around there so for the sake of my shoes farting yeah <laughs> i would say it starts like somewhat like this yep goes up there i think you kind of have to like come into here Oh, I thought this. Yeah, yeah, and then around still. Yep. Just casually do a V5 now, eh? I don't know if this is it, though. I think it is. <laughs> That'd have been cool for a, uh, for a, what, a flash? I didn't forget that.
So, Travis, how'd you go today? Yeah, not too bad actually. I was pretty happy, all things considering. I had a good crack at the V4, managed to get some stuff on the V5, and um, I think with my shoulders still being pretty sore from the other day, I actually lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. So, no complaints here. Plus, the weather was really good. It was great. I, I definitely agree with the weather. Um, I think you did pretty well. I thought you were gonna be uh, too um, screwed from the traversing, to be honest. Yeah, it was like super fun actually just to play around with that, like not worry about what you're gonna tick off on the crag, but just to play around a bit and build some endurance as well. And I know I got caught out a few times just not trying to think through what my next few moves would be. Um, so I kind of peeled off a bit earlier. So yeah, I've got that to work on, which is good. Um, also, I really enjoyed the uh, the working party we kind of had with the V4. Um, if you guys are watching this, I found your brush. So leave a comment below and we'll see the crag sometime and I'll give it back. Or I'll keep it forever if you don't want it. Gina. Hello. Gina was working a V2. I did a V2. I didn't do it, but I did a little bit of it. And it was hard. She can definitely get it, I reckon. It was scary. I don't, I don't like falling. <sighs> Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. So Gina, what is your favorite thing about rock climbing outdoors? I don't know. I don't like interviews. <laughs> don't put me on camera. It's seeing Michael shirtless. I just try to say that and you don't. <laughs>